Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on November 13th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Dew, where we give you an overview on space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, full weather, world weather forecast. Looking here, the last 48 hours on the sun, not very active at all. Some plasma filaments wisping around and sunspots staying stable which is good because they are earth-facing position right now. We do have that turning in earth coronal hole, earth-facing coronal hole. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, nothing major to report in the cresting incoming position. Not much, but a lot of activity in the ionosphere of our sun. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing, there was a small C1 class flare that erupted from that right region on the bottom right hand side there in the last few images. So, Earth facing C class solar flare, and as well, we have this coronal hole, which is an Earth facing right now, and we will be expecting that increased solar wind stream by the 14th into the 15th of November. This is 193 angstroms. This is where you can really see the coronal hole, which is basically a cooled region on the sun. Well, actually, it's exactly what it is. Looking at the ISWA space prediction spiral, still nothing has been put on there yet from that C-class solar flare, just showing the backside activity heading towards Mercury. And you can see there by the 15th, 14th into the 15th, we will be seeing some space weather. Solar proton flux jumped up into the C-class range today, but still pretty moderate after that. Geomagnetic activity remains low. Solar wind sitting at about 328 kilometers per second. Pretty jagged wind stream right now. Watching that temperature increase over the last few hours. Lasco 2 and 3, only showing 15 minutes of imagery. We'll have to wait for an update there. Stay tuned. Looking at Schumann Resonance for today, a power of 9, a low power of 9. Amplitude of 9, quality of 7. Looking at earthquakes for the day, it's been pretty active. Especially starting here with a rare earthquake, 5.3 in northwest Australia. Western Australia, they're saying here, 5.3 at a 10 kilometer depth. As well, we did see some more deep earthquakes through the Fiji region today. Wallace and Futuna, 5.5 earthquake, sizable there. And as well, a deep earthquake here, 510 kilometer depth south of Fiji Islands, the 4.9 magnitude, as well as 4.7 there, Haifo Tonga, 4.2 Papua New Guinea. Philippines Plate, pretty quiet today. Japan and up into Russia. Katsura, 4.4, 4.7 here in Korsakov, Russia. 4.3 to report here in Myanmar. That was yesterday, 21 kilometer depth. 4.7 today, Afghanistan. And as well, a 4.6 reported in, again, Iran, Darab, Iran. Atlantic Plate still seeing a lot of activity. Southern Mid-Atlantic Ridge saw 5.5 this morning, followed by a 4.8 in the same region. South Sandwich Islands also saw a 5.1. Pretty quiet through South American play today. Uh, Brapampa, Argentina, 4.3, over 200 kilometer depth. Pretty quiet through Puerto Rico today. Largest seeing a 3.3 or 3.4. Ecuador seeing a 4.4. And as well, Oaxaco, Mexico, 4.8, 4.3. Minor activity here as well. New Mexico border with Texas. And as well, Northern California, Alancha. And right up into Juan de Fuca there, 2.9 Ferndale. 
But other than that, no major swarms to talk about across the U.S. Notable earthquake here off the coast of Los Angeles, Santa Barbara. Pretty small earthquake and as well a notable here just north of Lake Tahoe, a 2.0. Quakes in the lakes again. Maybe we will be going through the same thing we did last year. Definitely going to be keeping an eye on things. Carry on here. Hawaii, pretty quiet throughout the day. Alaska as well. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Give you a quick look at the last seven days. And we're starting to see the frequency in magnitude increase over the last couple days. 5.7s ranging to 6.6 there in Japan. So heads up everybody, we've seen a lot of deep earthquakes. We can expect some larger shallower earthquakes to follow. Definitely going to be keeping an eye on the Atlantic plate as well. All of the most recent activity heading right up into Iceland. And as well, a little update here for you at La Palma as they did see a 5.0 earthquake today. But the minor activity has certainly dimmed down. Only seeing about 20 earthquakes here in the 3.0 range. Largest today was a 5.0. And it seems a few of the earthquakes are moving northward towards the uplift on the island. That was reported about a month ago. And that's the last seven days. Quick look before we get to the weather here. Give you the next 10-day forecast for snow accumulations across North America as winter is definitely settling in across the continent. Looking at about possibly five centimeters of, th of snow through Georgian Bay and Lake Superior in Huron. But the Atlantic coast up into Newfoundland could see up to two feet. Parts of Alberta seeing 20 centimeters of snow. And all along the BC coastline up into Alaska seeing about 200 centimeters of snowfall in the next 10 days. As well, Wyoming, 50 centimeters of snow in the next 10 days. Down into higher elevations, Virginia, North Dakota, and South Dakota are being hammered right now by that low pressure system heading down. A quick forming Alberta Clipper is moving pretty fast across Canada right now and the United States right along the border. Overlooking Europe the next 10 days for snowfall forecast. You can see a lot of snow falling around Italy. Higher elevations seeing a lot of early snow this season right up into Romania. Norway could see over two feet of snow over the next 10 days. And there's all that heavy snow falling across Greenland with that big blizzard I was talking about and forecasted yesterday, still heading into the region. Quick look at my radar, showing you the low pressure systems, high pressure systems currently, and as well the last four hours of satellite imagery. As you can see, over North and South Dakota, we do have a lot of snow falling. And Ontario, pretty windy. Northwest winds coming in right now and hovering just above zero. We most likely will see some flurries tomorrow. And this tightly whipped low pressure system coming out of Alberta this week. Quickly moving eastward. As well, showing here, very large system over the Pacific, West Pacific, and as well, a long line of moisture heading into BC and Washington this week. Watch for the five-day forecast coming right up. Five-day forecast brought to you by MeteorWorth and as well, daily events worldwide. We're going to start out here, home base, Brantford, Ontario. As we're, as I said, we're hovering just above the freezing mark right now. We've got that system heading in this week. Alberta Clipper is going to blow in tomorrow. And it's going to be a mixed bag of precipitation for parts of southern Ontario. Most likely off of Georgia Bay and Huron. You will see large snow squalls. Heavy snow moving eastward from Saskatchewan and up into Quebec. That big system heading through. 
I thought that Alberta clipper was going to head south, but it headed straight north towards the Hudson Bay, getting ready for a polar vortex lockup. Got an atmospheric river of moisture heading in here off the coastline, heading into Vancouver, B.C., Washington, and down into Oregon. And then watching the long range here, you got a pretty big low pressure system heading into Northern California and Oregon in the long range. Stay tuned tomorrow to see if how much that changes. No major hurricanes to talk about, nor typhoons, cyclones, overlooking the Atlantic. Still watching this low pressure system being scooted southward. And then it looks like it's going to turn back and head towards La Palma. So La Palma could see a big cool down coming too with a low pressure system. Overlooking Europe, big low over northeastern parts, bringing a lot of snow to Norway, parts of Finland. And as well, low pressure system trapped through the Mediterranean, still bringing snow to higher elevations through Italy and a lot of rain. Cold conditions are definitely developing all across Russia right now. Low pressure systems still forecasted to head into India this week. So a rainy week ahead for India. And as well parts of Thailand. Overlooking Australia. Got that system finally scooting away through parts of southeastern Australia. And then later in the week, we've got another system developing here in parts of Western Australia, southwest, mainly through Perth. Could see some heavy rains, but definitely a system moving in to bring some moisture. New Zealand most likely won't see a sunny day this week. You've got one, two systems heading towards you. big system there developing heading towards Vanuatu in the long range and some runes some rain scooting across Hawaii this week just ahead of that atmospheric river overlooking South America still watching for heavy rains Argentina border moving northward into Bolivia Paraguay and even up into Panama could see some heavy shoreline showers But it looks like things are really starting to cool down in South America right now. Overlooking Africa. No major changes there since yesterday's forecast. Except in the long range here, we're going to see a little bit of rain heading towards coastal regions of South Africa, Cape Town and eastwards. Going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern, pointing out the major changes systems that are affecting our planet right now and they're mostly around the north and southern hemisphere no major storms are spinning across our planet right now also going to leave you looking at wind maps from windy.com showing you the higher elevation polar vortex which is now settling in and we do have an early winter on the way it's been long coming Winter isn't until December 21st. Just remember that, folks. Some increasing deep cold temperatures are going to be swimming around the Northern Hemisphere before we know it. I want to thank everybody for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. This is our winds at 10,000 feet showing the both Northern and Southern polar vortex. Again, thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Prayers for humanity. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.